Hello cozy friends, welcome or welcome back to the Cozy Hermit channel. My name is Lynn and today's video is all about cats. Okay, so I've moved down to the floor because the sun was in my face and I couldn't even see my camera anymore. So that was not very um, handy. Anyway, in this video we are going to play some more lemon cake. We've played lemon cake on this channel before. If you've seen the video, uh, then you know that lemon cake is a really cute baking sim. It released on PC, I think a year ago. And then not so long ago, uh, in September, it released on consoles like Switch and I think PlayStation and Xbox as well. I've been playing it on Switch and I am really, really enjoying my time with it. And I've been playing a lot more lemon cake since that last video if you haven't seen the video i'll make sure to link it down below in the description box but if you have seen the previous lemon cake video then you know that at the end of the video i was talking about unlocking the cat cafe and that that would be probably the next lemon cake video i would make and i have actually to be honest i have already unlocked the cat cafe by myself because i have no self-control but also because i thought it would be handy to just check it out before making an actual vlog on it and in this vlog i'm actually planning on unlocking the cat cafe upgrade so i've been saving up already a bit of in-game money so i can buy that upgrade so in a moment we are going to play through an entire game in lemon cake i'll show you some of the newer recipes i have and what kinds of new things i have unlocked so far or maybe maybe i should just tell you i have uh, unlocked the sprinklers which is so super duper handy because now I don't have to water my plants by hand anymore and that is really, you know, it saves a lot of stress because Lemon Cake, is, it is, I do consider it a really cozy game, relaxing too in a way, but it can get kind of stressful sometimes uh, because you have to, you know, have to take care of so many things at once like you have to serve your customers you have to make sure your ovens don't run out of fire wood um, and yeah you have to uh, water your plants as well and I'm kind of relieved I don't have to do that anymore so that is uh, yeah that's a great upgrade I recommend unlocking that as fast as you can <laughs> Um, I've also unlocked the freezer, so now I can make ice cream and serve that to my customers and it is so cute, so I will uh, definitely show you some more of that in this video. Yeah, I kind of feel like I have to run away from the sun here because otherwise my head is disappearing. You see that? It is so weird. Okay, anyway, of course, I have also unlocked the cat cafe like I mentioned before and it is absolutely adorable. Like on my first day, I only had one cat and I was like, really, is that it? But as I played on, uh, sometimes there are two cats on each day. And you know what is really adorable is that your customers who come in, uh, they can actually adopt the cats. And I've seen it happen once and they just take the cat and carry it along with them in a little basket and it is so adorable so it is such a cute little thing to add to the game so i'm really really curious about the uh, upgrade so we will check that out in this video also this is just a little tiny reading update i know it's not game related but it is kind of related to this video um i've been reading this book the traveling cat chronicles and it is exactly what i expected it to be it is such a lovely, wholesome book. It is really, it's such a great read. Um, it's about a guy who, for some reason, can no longer keep his cat. So he goes on a road trip with his cat called Nana. And they visit all school friends of his as he is searching for someone to take on his cat. To, to adopt it, practically. Um, the reason why he can no longer keep his cat, that is still unclear. I'm over halfway. I do think... I kind of know what's going on at this point. It's been hinted at a few times um, and it makes me a little cautious for the end of this book because I think it is going to be a little sad. 
so I'm not sure I uh, um, I want to finish reading this book in this video I probably won't in case it makes me feel really sad <laughs> but uh, other than that it is really a lovely book I really love how you get to know the main character without actually reading anything from his point of view you read everything from the cat's point of view and from his friends and that is really interesting and I absolutely love the flashbacks to their childhood it is so it's really cute and like I said wholesome it is really really a lovely book so I would highly recommend it if you like animals I think yeah, if you like animals, really. And what's not to like about pets, right? Anyway, I, I really recommend this book. It is a lovely, lovely read. Oh, and in case if you were wondering, I sadly do not have a cat of my own because I'm allergic to cats. I wish I could have a cat, but I cannot. I found that out the hard way when I was a child. I think I was like nine years old and... Um, we never knew that I was allergic to cats because we didn't have a cat ourselves and back then I didn't have any friends who had cats. Yeah, coincidence. Uh, but then my... Uh, yeah, we went to a barbecue of some friends of my parents and we were uh, in the garden at first of course so there was nothing... Uh, everything was fine, everything was good. But then at the end of the night it got a little too cold to be outside so we went into the living room we were eating ice cream, everything was fine until the cats came to uh, cuddle up and uh, I started to feel really weird, fuzzy in the head and it was like I was coming down with a really really bad cold and turned out I was allergic to cats and that never went away. I've had some more encounters with cats at friends later when I was older and um, yeah, the result was the same. So that's <laughs> kind of disappointing. So um, that's why I've got this little buddy here. I'm not allergic to you, am I? No. So uh, anyway, without further ado, I think I've been talking way too long already. So let's just play some lemon cake and unlock that final upgrade of the cat cafe and see what that will bring us. <laughs> So I've just bought the Cat Cafe upgrade and there are indeed more places for cats to visit now. So I'll show you more properly with the actual game footage. But it is so adorable and I can't wait to see what happens. So let's just play through another day or maybe two and see what happens.
Shocking, the Cat Cafe Upgrade and Lemon Cake is a great success. It is so adorable. So if you ever play this game or if you are currently playing this game, I recommend you totally work hard to unlock the Cat Cafe because it adds so much cuteness to the game. Anyway, I wanted to do something special for this video to really stay in theme with everything. Um, I've actually considered visiting a cat cafe in real life. There is one not far from my home. But uh, yeah, my allergies of course make that a little difficult. Um, I Actually, a part of me just wanted to go and check like do I still have these allergies or have I somehow gotten over them? But I am not really brave enough to try it out because I just, I don't want to feel sick, okay? <laughs> I guess you can understand that. So I've come up with a different plan. I am going to go into the neighborhood and I am going to challenge myself to find as many cats as I can. And to do so, I've got a strategy. I am bringing my sister along who is First of all, not allergic to cats. And secondly, she absolutely loves cats and cats love her. So with a bit of luck, she uh, kind of attracts them or just manages to keep them still enough so I can actually film them. So let's just go out and find some cats. I will officially introduce to you guys the cat counter. Yeah, that is a thing, the cat counter. So anyway, let's just go and look for some cats. Cats. We managed to find eight cats. I did not expect that. I was hoping I would find at least five, but I was like, what if I only find like two of them? <laughs> that that would, you know, be a huge failure for this video, but we managed to find eight of them. Awesome. And they were so cute. So this video is like really fun for me to make, but also kind of painful because I can I couldn't pet any of them. My sister could, as you saw. So I'm just, yeah. Anyway. I am not envious at all. Maybe just a little bit. Anyway, I'm just really glad I got to take you guys along with me. So I hope you've enjoyed this cozy little cat video by this crazy allergic vlogger. I am going to go home now. I'm going to read some more in the Traveling Cat Chronicles. Um, if you want to know whether the ending is set, just ask me and I will answer. Because by the time this video is online, I have probably finished it. So. 
feel free to ask. Anyway, once more, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you would consider liking the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, it would be awesome if you did. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you will stay up to date of any weekly new video that will be coming out on the Cozy Hermit channel. And the bird just flew over. Awesome. Anyway, I hope to see you guys again very soon. And until we meet each other again, stay cozy.